Hi guys, so sorry about the noise. First off, uh, they are building houses. Uh, yeah. So if you hear some in the background, that's totally what it is. See, can you hear that? Anyway, uh, I have a, a scary story for you guys because it's Halloween. Yay! And I'm gonna tell you like a scary. Well, a, I'm gonna tell you my scary story, and I'm not making it up. It's completely true. Uh, you see. <laughs> anyway, uh. So anyway, uh, now on to my scary story. Okay, it's in the year of 2009. Okay, so it was the first time as I read... Nikki dear, I have to just pop out. Sorry about that. I have to pop uh, out. Okay, thank you, Mum. I'll have filming at the moment. Okay, I'm not feeling all that well, but I'll see you later. Okay. So sorry about that, guys. Uh... So, like I was saying, uh, it was in the year of 2009, so it was my first time as a Red Shirt. Okay, so you guys who don't know who, who the Red Shirts are, it's basically an outdoor advice that you use to this group, but it's called the Red Shirt. And they got all my Lewis friends on my would know because... Uh, obviously, yeah, they know the red shirt is amazing and all that sort of stuff. But in the year of 2009, I was the, uh, it was my first time as a red shirt. Okay. And uh, things normal, but it it started in, in, at Dale's Down on Dale's Town reunion. Okay. Very simple, right? It's a nice place to have a reunion there. But. My scary story is at night time. So I was on the way out from the. Uh, uh, I was on the way out. F I was. I was. Okay. So, so it was at, like at two or three o'clock in the morning. So I knew that the red shirt leaders would be sleeping. They would be sleeping in their room. No one saw me. No one heard me. No one heard anything. No one saw anything. Is that for me? I didn't see uh, anything either. So it was dark and we were in this hallway and I was on the way out from the lady and I was I was going to my room. Uh, okay, so I was on the way to my room. Right, okay, so uh, when I was walking to my room, this boy like I said, I know it was a person. I'm not quite sure if it was a boy or, or something, but someone from this side of me like, grabbed hold of my arm, like this, like this. He, they, he took me and they took me into their room, and they did something to me because I was in my pajamas. I wasn't wearing anything except for my pajamas. So. I was I was like in my pajamas or anything, and then they took me to his room, and then they did something, and then I could smell alcohol in his breath. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. Why? Why is alcohol in his breath? Why? I could smell alcohol in his breath. I don't know why, and I do know because I actually knew that if I smell alcohol in someone's breath, I know what, what type of alcohol it is. So I can work it out in my mind. But I can smell I can smell alcohol in his breath. Why was there alcohol? Why was there alcohol in his room? I have no clue. I have no clue why. I guess they uh found out a way to sneak alcohol into their room without the red shirt leaders knowing. Yeah. Without the red shirt leaders knowing. How can that happen? How? I have no clue. But it did happen. Uh, 
and then I was at the end, so here's the hallway, and then in this room over here, and in this room over here, yeah, in this room over here, uh, there's a big room, and it's right here, the hallway's in the uh, room's at the end here, and then I remember, I, the only thing I could remember is I was in that room by myself, no one, I was, it was dark in that room, I was, I was like, what did I sleep dress myself? Why? Why did, did I sleep dress myself? No. I think I, I think I did, but I think that's what they did. I have no clue. I was in my pyjamas, but then I was changed. So I had my shoes, I had my socks on, I had my shoes, I had my trousers on. I had my red shirt hoodie on, and my red shirt ID on. And then I could hear a voice saying, Nikki, Nikki, wake up, Nikki, wake up. And I could hear it, I know it was a red shirt lizard's voice. And she was in my small team, because it was such good to small teams, I guess. And then, uh, it was like, weird. Okay, it was so weird. I have no clue why that happened. And then when I woke up, I was like, okay, Ruth, you have no clue what just happened. That is such a scary story. Okay, if you, uh, if you don't believe me, that's fine, but that did actually happen. I'm not kidding you. That did happen. Why? Why did it happen? I have no clue. Why did they even do that stuff to me? Why did they dress me? Why did they smell alcohol in their breath? I have no clue. Why? So I was all by myself in that room. And that's my scary story. Please feel free to Facebook me if you, uh, Please feel free to Facebook me if if you want me to talk about about it again. Oh, I just to let you know before I wrap this up, I tomorrow I'll be really busy. I'm travelling. I'm going overseas, so I'll be on the plane. So I won't have time to upload any videos tomorrow. So if you see me again, uh later on tonight because I'll be showing you two books that I've taken with me uh, and I'm from that but that'll be my last video that I'll be uploading onto this channel uh, so yeah bye